name is Rick Piner. I've been out here 21 years. I've been assigned for y'all right Up and down this street. It's a hard life, believe that. But we get by the best we can. People hit garbage cans and whatever and resell it to people on the street. Yes, it's all good. You stop and you shouldn't. <laughs> but anyway, that's about the, about the end of it right there, you know. We just do the best we can. Get by. Storytelling. It's the world's oldest profession. Before we had radio and television and books, we had the fire. It was the first gathering point for people to share life. It has evolved since then. Since youth, I have loved telling stories, and this grew as I did. With age came different passions, all of which though shaped me into who I am today, a storyteller. In my early 20s, I lived in San Francisco working for a nonprofit called Youth with a Mission. And while living there, I had one of those defining moments in life that everyone tells you you're going to have. I remember sitting on my couch when my parents called me and told me to stop what I was doing and go watch this documentary called Father of Lights. The filmmaker had a desire to capture God on film, and to my surprise, he did. So here I was, a 21-year-old living in the city with the highest homeless population per capita in the United States, and it dawned on me. My love for storytelling could thrive here. It was from this, my love for storytelling, and that documentary that made me realize what I had to do with my life. I had to become a filmmaker. So I bought a Canon T3i and began to make videos for the nonprofit. At first, it wasn't anything glorious, just a few promotional videos here and there, and a guidelines video. But then I started taking my passions and interviewing the homeless. And I came to find that these people, who were considered a stigma on the city, were actually not so different from myself. I decided from there on out that I wanted to make documentary films. I wanted to be the person to tell their stories to the world, but not just their stories, the stories of those who had no voice, of those who were trapped by societal bonds. I had to become more than I already was. So I set out on a journey that took me back to my hometown so that I could pursue something that would take me to the next level, something that would allow me to gain the necessary skills to be effective in my documentaries. I was able to cultivate my creativity and blossom my career into something entirely else. See, I thought at first that I was just a storyteller. I was an ambassador of the world's collective biography. There's this thing in the pit of my stomach that burns day and night driving me to reclaim others in the eyes of the world. There are literally millions of stories just waiting to be told, and I have to be the one to tell them. I have to become the absolute best at what I do, so that when people see my documentaries, they don't just go, Oh, that's a nice or heartbreaking story. No, I want them to feel a call to action like I have. Why? Because I'm a storyteller. That's who I am as a filmmaker. <laughs>